Let us study the dairy machineries and equipment now. The most important one is motorized milking machine. Manual equipment of the same type is also available. But it needs continuous manual work and it is not suitable for bigger dairies. This powered milking machine runs with 1.5 HP single phase electric compressor. There are different models with which one can milk with one, two, three or four milking cans simultaneously. It is better to keep oil engine or an electricity generator to run the milking machine at the time of power cut. The vacuum generated by the compressor is available along the length of the cattle shed by this airtight PVC pipeline. This pipe has tees and cocks at regular intervals to facilitate attaching milking cans. When this cock is opened, the vacuum gets connected with this airtight milking can. Clean the udder of the cow as usual. Put the milking tubes to the tits. It fits and holds itself firmly due to the vacuum. These milking tubes press the tits like this and take the milk out but not by sucking. The milk flows to the can through this transparent plastic tube which we can see now clearly. Hold the milking tubes pulled down gently when the milk flow recedes. It takes out leftover milk in the udder. Delay in detaching the tubes will not create any problem. The blood will never come out as many innocent farmers suspect. A single person can milk with two cans in this machine. Working with bigger machine, milking four cows at a time needs two people. We can milk eight cows with 10 to 12 liters of milk with one can in one hour comfortably. This machine completes milking in the specified time of six to seven minutes from an animal with any amount of milk. This increases the milk yield by 10%. There will be no pressure or damage to the other muscles with machine milking. Clean and complete milking prevents the chance of mastitis. Milk remains unspoiled for two to three hours as the air contact of the milk is less. Clean all these tubes and the cans after every milking by sucking hot water. Clean them again by using soap powder and cold water. Any negligence in this cleaning will spoil the milk of next milking. The spare parts of this milking machine are quite durable. However, we need to replace the milking tube cluster once in two years which costs around 1,200 rupees. This milking machine is hardly seen in buffalo dairies, even though it is equally suitable for buffaloes. Compressor and one milking can set cost about 60,000 rupees now. Each additional set of can and its accessories cost 25,000 rupees. We can conclude that this electric milking machine is quite essential for timely, clean and easy milking in commercial dairies. Its contribution is quite evident in the success of the dairy units. Another important machine of the dairy is fodder chopping machine. Farmers were using manual equipment earlier. Now we have many models of this motorized machine of various capacities. Bigger dairies use diesel engine fodder chopping machines. It can be operated by the power from the PTO shaft of the tractor also. Fit two cutting blades to the flywheel and chop the fodder into small pieces. This enables better digestion and complete usage of the fodder. Another important equipment of the dairy is the compressor for washing cattle shed. Water coming out with high pressure can remove dried dung and urine also. It needs less water compared to manual cleaning. Using compressor for washing the shed and for bathing of the animal eliminates sticks from the dairy. Now we find portable high pressure washers also in smaller dairies. This runs with 2 kilowatt single phase electricity. All these machines bring down the labor requirement on the dairy farm. Hence, it reduces the cost of operation and makes the work easy and fast.
Let us know about the biogas unit now. Normally the dung available abundantly on the dairy farm is put directly into the manure pit. It leads to the wastage of the valuable biogas in the dung. The biogas is useful for cooking, lighting and also for running a diesel engine. The slurry coming out of the biogas unit has a higher amount of available nutrients than the original dung. It is wrong to imagine by the traditional farmers that it is inferior in nutrients. KVIC and Dinabandhu are the two popular models of biogas plant. This plant with floating biogas collection drum is the KVIC model. Dinabandhu gas plant is a permanent structure constructed underground with RCC. The cost of this plant is less and the durability is more. However, the fiber gas drum also remains perfect for 25 years. But the cost of construction is more. Of course, there is no difference in the method of production of the biogas and its usage with both of these models. Most of the state governments provide subsidy for these biogas plants. Many dairies produce vermicompost to earn an additional income. This is more profitable than selling the cow dung manure directly. We find both permanent vermicompost units as well as portable units of this type. Vermicompost gets ready for usage in three months. It sells for five to six rupees a kilogram. Popularity of organic farming created good demand for vermicompost. All these efforts earn an additional income for the dairy, helping it for early and better financial stability. 